But you tell me where you at your motivation guy. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. You know, the guy, man, that is rooting for you. The guy that really believes in you. The guy that says, keep going. Don't stop because that dream in you is going to become a reality, man. You just got to keep your mind positive and just stay on the task at hand each and every day. Man, listen, I'm like really excited, man, because, you know, the long awaited arena points reset for season three is quickly approaching. And so hey, if you guys want to dominate your competition, I mean, gain points quickly and you guys want points quickly, right? And just make your climb to the Champions League fast, trouble free. We got you covered today. In today's video, guys, check it out. We're going to be showing you guys everything that you need to know in order to rank up an arena fast and become eligible for cast prize tournaments. But before we get started, it's time for our tradition. It's time to sit back, relax and get some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, let's get this going. All right, so before we can fill you guys in on all the tips and tricks to gain arena points quickly, we just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page when it comes to how the scoring system works. You know, it seems as if every couple of seasons, Epic tries just make hitting the Champions League just a little bit more exclusive, right? So for starters, Epic has increased the Champions League threshold to 7,500 points instead of the usual 6,000 we've been, you know, used to for the majority of Chapter 2. In addition to the threshold increase, many people are still unaware of the fact that you can now rank out of divisions. All right, so say you finally made it into the Champions League with 7,500 points. If you were to then lose points from bus fare and drop below the threshold, you would de-rank back into the Contenders League, making you, again, ineligible for Cash Cups and FNCS. This is going to require you guys to really play your arena matches to the best of your ability while being consistent as possible. All right, now that you guys have that out of the way, let's hop into the point format. Here we go. Across all divisions, there is a potential 185 placement points to be earned. This may sound like a good amount, but when you consider that 20 five of those points come from second place and 50 come from winning the match, you're going to realize that elimination points are what's really going to make or break your arena experience. All right, so once your points have been reset and you start off in the open league, you're going to earn 20 points per kill in solos, all right? 20 in duos and 15 per kill in trios. And once you guys find your way into the contenders league, solos is going to grant you 15 points per kill, along with duos and trios granting only 10 points per elimination. Our elimination points for duos and trios remain the same throughout the Champions League at 10 points per kill. You know, solos become even less viable in this league, earning only 10 points per kill as well. Now, we don't know if Epic is purposely trying to make solos the less favorable mode, but they've definitely accomplished it nonetheless. Uh, so see, ranking in consistent high elimination games is just much easier to pull off in team modes. Eliminations are gonna be earned quickly since you're fighting in group, as well as the fact that your teammates are gonna have the ability to clutch up fights alone and just stick the reboot to just keep your game going. Of course, it's possible to rank up as a solo, but we're going to dive more into why you shouldn't in the next section. All right, if you guys want to climb the arena ranks with ease this season, make sure to head on over to ProGuys.com, where we've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything that you need to know about Fortnite so you can improve fast. All right, so now we know that a majority of you guys watching this video aren't trying to grind the leaderboards with hundreds of thousands of points, but we can definitely learn a thing or two from the top arena players. Nearly, if not all, the top 100 arena players are going to exclusively play trios. This is just due to the point system, man, and it's just heavily favoring team modes, as we mentioned previously. For one, placement points are going to just be much easier to earn in trios since you're only going to need one teammate alive to receive points. More importantly, a trio of solid fighters is going to have no problem dominating a majority of their lobbies consistently. A trio of three fighters who can hold their own weight can drop 25 plus elimination wins nearly every game if they play strategically. One of those games alone would earn around three or 400 points. So dropping 20 plus elimination games consistently in solos is unheard of. Even the best of the best would struggle to pull this thing off due to RNG and the fact that players in solo arena tend to be much better fighters. See, trio arena lobbies are gonna contain teams that are just trying to have fun and aren't fully tryharding, you know, creating a more laid back environment. On the other hand, solo arena players realize that getting killed is going to send them back to the lobby instead of just getting knocked. This creates some incentive to just try their hardest in order to keep their match going. Considering all of this, guys, finding a trio that you can consistently grind with is going to be your best bet for climbing to the Champions League and beyond. But playing duos is still a great way to gain points. It's just slightly less efficient than trios would be. But Squash Army, it's time for the question of the day. What is the highest division you've ever reached in an arena season? Have you ever climbed all the way to Champions Division 10? Let us know down in the comments below. 
The open lead starts fresh at zero points and ends at 2,000 points. You're not going to need to worry about bus fare in this league as divisions one through three don't take any and divisions four only takes 10 points. This means, guys, that really any play style is going to really work here. It just comes down to how long it actually takes you to really make it past that 2,000 point mark. With that being said, we highly recommend that you really play extremely aggressive in the open league. Like we mentioned earlier, there is little to no bus fare being taken in this league, meaning you're not going to have to worry too much about losing points as you play. And since elimination points are super valuable, the quickest way to rank up is going to be through fighting nearly everybody you see. Not only will this earn you points quicker, I mean, it's also going to prepare you guys for fighting in higher divisions. If you are a player who tends to struggle when fighting, I'm telling you, man, you're only going to hurt yourself in the long run by hiding your way to the open league, all right? You should use this league as a way to really hone your fighting skills and get used to high intensity situations with multiple opponents so that you aren't taken by surprise when getting pushed by advanced players further down the road. Although we've been heavily encouraging you guys to really play trios, playing as a solo in the open league just works fine as well. Since you're going to be earning 20 points per elimination, I mean, you could very well earn points quicker as a solo if you're just hot dropping and just fragging out in the mid game. At the end of the day, guys, there's really no need to stress over the open league, all right? Like you should treat it as a time to have fun and just get the hang up before you just reach the contenders league and have to just start taking things more seriously. As soon as you surpass 2,000 points, you're going to be put into Division 5, the start of Contenders League. The Contenders League is definitely where a majority of players begin to struggle. Like, not only that, but you're going to just be playing against much better players. The bus fare for each match is highly increased. Division 5 is going to take 20 points. Division 6 is going to take 30 points. And Division 5 is going to take 50 points. The increased bus fare you face will require you to play very consistently if you guys want to avoid losing points or potentially even the ranking. In order to avoid as much RNG as possible and provide yourself the best opportunity opportunity to avoid just dying off spawn, you should do your best to really avoid dropping at contested POI. Dying off rip is going to be a huge waste of your points and time. Instead, you should pick a spot or two that may be contested by one or two other teams that you know you can survive at more often than not. An edge map or, you know, split drop is going to allow you to head into the mid game with a few kills to your name, along with some solid enough loot to win the match. During the mid game, guys, you should avoid engaging in fights that have the potential to be third party by other teams. Like if you take a fight in the center of the zone, other teams hope to finish you off is going to approach the fight. These teams are going to oftentimes have an advantage over your team as they're just fresh on mats and full on health. And this is just going to make it easy for them to just clean up the remaining players and reward themselves with tons of loot. To prevent this from happening, you should only be taking fights near the edge of the zone where no other players are in sight, all right? So doing this is going to give you enough time to finish your fight safely without being forced into an uncomfortable position. And on top of fight location, I mean, you know, you should really only be taking fights where you have a clear advantage. Like say that you're able to crack shield or even knock an opponent with an ARB. Your team now knows that it's a 3v2 situation, meaning it's going to be easy to finish it up if you guys work together. Or you could even be that third party team we mentioned earlier that just cleans up an existing fight where the players are already weak. I mean, obviously there are plenty of more situations that would be justified for engaging a fight. You just need to use your best judgment, man, and just only engage in fights where you know your team is going to have the upper hand. But you guys tell me where you at your motivation, guys, back. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I believe in you. Keep going. Stay positive. Keep your head up. You know, all the opposition, any negativity, you just have to keep seeing the vision. Where do you want to be? Where do you want to go? Have those expectations. Don't drop them, man. Keep them high, and you can do anything. Also, feel free to leave a like in the comment section. Connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. If you're not subbed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Do that right now. And, uh, you know, let me just say this. Like, climbing your way to the Champions League is definitely not easy, but it can be done quickly when you use the the tips and tricks that we showed you guys in today's video all right so just keep that in mind we'll see you on the next one peace